Hello, Miss Harrington. I wanted to give you a little tour of our guinea pig cage that I promised I would do. So, um, these are the um, storage cube um, things I was telling you about. We have them, my husband attached them to the IKEA um, frame with screws and some little clips. I think I got those from the audio visual department. And then these, the, they just swing down and we did put, started out using magnets to kind of make sure that our cats couldn't get in here. But the reality is our cats don't really care about the guinea pigs. And uh, also the magnets have kind of started coming off over time. And I don't think I'm going to put them back because they, the cats like the guinea pigs. They're not, they're not going to go in there. Um, I've got some Ikea lights strung up there that I also use some little Christmas clips to, to connect those up there. And one interesting thing I did is I actually attached some more of those storage grates right to the top of the cage so that I could hang things from the cage. I made a little fleece forest here where I took strips of fleece fabric and hung them. And over here I've got a little toy hanging from it just so I can hang things down and create curtains and such and such um, that hang from the top of the cage. So this side right here is their kitchen. Um, I've got this little thing that you can buy at Petco just kind of hanging over the top of the PVC tube that um, leads you from one section to the other section of the cage. That's just, they like to hide under things, so I put that there for them. It shades them a little bit. Um, over here, I've got their water bottle, water bottle rigged up as well as their hay rack. And I just cleaned this side of the cage so you can see that there, um, you know, some fresh bedding in there and it doesn't fall out because, um, you know, the, the, core, the plastic stuff is just scored and it's waterproof. I left two storage areas here inside. And just so you know, I, I did this about um, a year and a half ago and it's really been holding up really well. Um, okay, this side over here, a lot of times I just leave the cage open because the guinea pigs don't mind. So uh, over on this side, these blankets are fleece on one side and then I sewed old towels to them on the other side. And I did have to figure out what, um, what size to, to make them um, over time. Um, I'm not that great of a sewer, but I'm good enough to be able to attach two pieces of fabric together and use a pair of scissors. So I just made a whole bunch of these because I switch them out every, um, uh, yeah, these ones down here I switch out maybe every five, six days. And then I also in here have these little smaller little area rugs and I throw some of these in the areas where they're most likely to pee and poop. So I can switch these out every couple of days to keep the cage nice and fresh. And the other thing that I do, I've got my trusty vacuum here to show you how I clean the cage every day. So basically I've got this little dust coil, um, robot dust buster, ro rocket buster, whatever. And I take the, um, the vacuum and I kind of have to hold it with one hand and you figure out a technique over time for just like sucking up all of the, the poop and whatever else they do in there. So every day I just kind of take the vacuum, which I keep in a, my um, kitchen cabinet over here, and I just like go move around in there and I pick up all the poop so that it's, so that it's cleaned up every day. And then, like I said, every like two days or so, I, I put new area rugs down for them. In here, you can see I've got a guinea pig waiting at the stairs, doesn't know why I'm talking so loudly into the cage. She's getting ready to, to go up the stairs there. She's wondering if I put any new food up there. I didn't vacuum this part of the cage out yet today. I kind of forgot to do that. I'll do that right now. But um, this is just chloroplast. And then on the inside of it, um, there's some fleece on top of the ramp. But underneath the fleece, I had um, floor tiles laying around from like a car. It's like um, uh, modular carpeting. And I cut that to the, to the size I wanted it to go inside of the ramp. And that's kind of lining the ramp. Um, and create sort of like a hard but soft surface for them to scamper up. And every couple of days I do change the, the fleece that's on top of the ramp. So there is some sewing and some math here, but once you figure out what measurements you need, it's kind of quick to just sew up a whole bunch of them using old towels and some fleece from Joanne Fabric. And I guess since I'm here, I can show you a little bit how I vacuum out over here since it is kind of dirty in there. Turn my vacuum on. 